Hi, with all the recent videos I've done on switchboards, I thought I'd do my lab here, my lab switchboard. I don't think I've ever done a video showing my lab switchboard. Well, here it is. It's in the uh, distribution board. It's literally inside uh, my lab. Uh, rate my poster on the uh, front. I think it's very appropriate. And I've got other posters here. Haven't hung that one. That's a signed Buzz Aldrin original print. And this is a limited edition signed Drew Struzan uh, Back to the Future poster. Look at this. Oh, beautiful limited edition print. That one. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Anyway, Let's go inside the panel, shall we? So this is a very typical box uh, you'll find inside any commercial office unit here in Sydney. I assume it's uh, same all around Australia. Leave it in the comments. It's inside because, well, you need control over, you know, if your computer uh, blows a circuit or something, you need to be able to reset it. You don't want to have to go down to the main distribution board, which is actually on this level um, here. So uh, that's in a uh, its, its own room. But anyway, let's open it up. There you go. Um, not a huge amount of circuit it's inside this thing. Okay, what we've got here is a uh, emergency lighting control because I've got like an exit light. It's just a requirement, even though there's only one door here. You know, I need an exit light and they do come around and test it every uh, 12 months. They physically put it into uh, test mode here and it, then it switches over to, there's a battery in the light. So even if the power of the whole building fails, all of the uh, exit lights uh, will still operate. So yeah, that's part of your uh, requirement to keep your, uh, you know, your lease or whatever, even though I own this place. Um, they still have to, it's part of uh, the strata requirements that uh, they have to come around and test this. Anyway, uh, we've got the main isolator here. These are a Merlin uh, brand. I haven't seen, seen a Merlin in residential, but I don't know, maybe leave it in the comments down below. How do you rate uh, Merlin? So I've obviously got uh, three phases coming in here because uh, there's three phases here. Um, and then we've got a aircon uh, breaker. We've got a light breaker. Neither of those are um, RCD, have an earth leakage uh, or a residual current device uh, in in them but the uh, power to the near wall here so I basically it's split into two the near wall is the one uh, here and then we've got power in far wall they do have um, built-in RCDs in them and when I leased my office out and they redid the cubicle here um, they added a whole bunch of power points um, along the middle wall along the cubicle wall there so they had an extra uh, Schneider one uh, added here and um, yeah it's RCD protected as well they're all uh, 20 amp uh, jobbies hot water because there's an instant hot water thing in the kitchen cabinet here. I don't use it because I don't drink tea or coffee so I have no, uh, no use for the hot water and uh, the kitchen uh, lights here um, has an old school uh, residual current device so so that is an older school uh, double DIN slot uh, one whereas now they're all like integrated into uh, like a single uh, slot here and uh, and then the one for the um, exit light up there of course. So yeah not many but I only have like a small 50 square meter office here. Alright take out the uh, self tapper here and let's have a squeeze inside and this will just pop off like that. Ta-da! Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So up the top you can see that we've got a DIN rail there that's specifically there for that exit light uh, timer thing and you can see the orange conduit uh, coming in there. I don't know why there's an extra um, cable going up there like a white like a power point cable going up through the entry. Um, anyway, on the left hand side of course there's all the outlet wires going to the power points and lights and uh, whatever else they go to. So I won't bother uh, removing that panel but obviously uh, the, you know, the wires are loomed uh, behind there. And aha! Uh -huh, this is interesting. We do actually have three different phases here. No, I'm not going to touch it. Um, they are uh, like uh, plastic coated on the outside of those metal bars. And you can see that uh, the red one goes into this phase here, the white one in the middle goes to this phase and the blue one goes to this phase here. So um, yes, they do actually, and you can see how they just spread them across here. So yes, they inside each individual uh, unit here in the uh, commercial office building, they do seem to split the phase. So they're uh, doing this at the individual unit level rather than relying on uh, the original builders to uh, like do it like one unit on one phase, another unit on another phase and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's more better. -er. Um, to do it at the individual office level. So then you can guarantee like if one office has taken a ton of power, you don't want that coming uh, from one phase uh, and, and another office is doing, you know, hardly anything at all, then uh, yeah, um, it's better to share it at the individual office 
uh, level. So that's what they've done here. So that's really cool. So I hadn't actually remembered that from uh, the last time I, I can't remember the last time I poked in here. Anyway, uh, there's just some vertical uh, DIN rails behind here, uh, some very large uh, spaces like Oh, 10 centimeters or something off the uh, rear wall there. We've got our neutral uh, block over here and we've got our earth block uh, over here. Apart from that, it's pretty basic. I mean, here's our main uh, neutral link coming in over here. Here's our main earth link. You can tell by the uh, diameter of the uh, cables there. So, whoa, hang on. Having just gone through that whole phase explanation here, um, <laughs> you'll notice that there's a blue wire and a white wire. That's two of the phases and the red other red wire coming in here. So it is three phases coming in, but you can see that uh, the <laughs> three phase switch in here is just linked um, to the one phase, that red phase. And I, can, I can't show you here, but if I poke my head up here and have a look, the white phase and the blue phase are just um, terminated. Well, they're not terminated. They're just insulated, um, flapping around in the breeze behind there. So this actually is only a single phase um, office unit, even though they went to all the trouble to install the three different phase bus bars here and everything, and they just couldn't be asked to wire up the uh, blue and the white into, all, all they had to do was wire the blue and white into blue into here and white into here, or, what, or white into here and blue into here, and, and Bob's your uncle, they didn't do that. It's all off the one phase, so I, I have not touched it since I've been here. No electrician has touched it since I've been here, so I don't know why they've done that. They went to all that effort, and they yet only put it on one phase, so I don't know if you've got any clue why that would happen if you're into your commercial electrics at all. I know there's lots of electricians who watch uh, the EEV blog, so if you do any commercial work, um, tell us why they would have done that. Um, it just doesn't seem to make sense. They went to all the effort to do the three phase stuff, yet they just pair it off one phase. Weird, huh? So anyway, hope you found that interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and as always, discuss down below and check out the eevlog.store. Catch you next time.